Hello everybody. Happy Thursday. It is day seven of my 12 days of Christmas Facebook lives. Today we are making two cards with, if I can pick it up, the Great Tidings bundle. And about an hour and a half ago when I went to type up my blog post for this, I noticed that the stamp set has sold out. <laughs> That's how it goes, you know, during last chance list. That is how it goes. Unfortunately, things are while, while supplies last. In years past, it's been that stamp sets would last. They would guarantee stamp sets through about the third week of the month. Um, but I guess not this year because there are several stamp sets on the sold out list. But... The show must go on, right? And I, I mean, obviously I didn't have time to whip up something else. I didn't want to use Monday's project. So we're going to go with it, all right? I hope you guys don't mind. I'm actually doing several techniques today too. So even if you don't have the stamp set, I think you can still learn quite a bit today. All right. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Glad you're here. Um, I'm just going to mention a couple of things, okay? Um, let's see. I feel like I'm not very prepared today. Oh, okay. So my calendar class, the Days to Remember calendar class that features the Days to Remember stamp set. This stamp set is now on low inventory. I have, if you've registered, I have ordered your stamp set. I did it this morning. As soon as I saw them on low inventory, I went and ordered everybody who's registered. If you want this class with a stamp set, you need to do it ASAP. I'll be checking every day. And then, you know, when they go unorderable, then they're unorderable. And I can't order them anymore. Um, now, this is in the annual catalog, so that means it'll come back. But if I, if we want to get them by the time the class kits mail, then, you know, it, we want to get them before they go unorderable because I don't know how long it'll take for them to make some more of them. So anyway, this is the calendar class. Um, by the way, if you ordered an easel today, when I ordered them, I ordered black easels. Um, I had, uh, this happened to me last year. I priced them before the class. And then when I go back to order them, I can't find the ones that I budgeted for. So I have to do some switching around. So I ordered black ones, which I really like. Um, but several of you have asked me about these. These you can get, I get them on Amazon. They come in all different sizes. You can also get them like at Joanne Fabrics, Hobby Lobby. I mean, they were like, you know, $1.50, $2. Um, and th this is a little one, but I like the ones that are a little bit bigger than this. But anyway, if you're getting the easel, it'll be black. Um, your class to go kit will come with this pack of what a year memories and more cards, as well as a pack of pearls and five bolts of twine. You'll use all of those on your cards. Each calendar page is different. Um, I've seen some calendars online where it's the same page each time, just different colors, whatever. Each one of these is totally different. Each one features a different bundle that we've used in Club Create this year. Um, and they're all very unique. If you look back here, I have started die cutting all the shapes um, for this class that are not cut with the bundles that we use in Club Create. It's a lot. <laughs> so it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of die cuts in there, but there's also die cuts that you're going to need. So make sure you read through the specifics of that. You can always use what you have at home. You don't have to have exactly the same. I'm sure you guys are used to that, subbing things that you have in place of something that maybe you don't want or that is, is unavailable. So anyways, the deadline for that, I believe, is next week. I lost my cheat sheet. I don't see it in here, but I believe it's next Tuesday. I don't know where it went. Um, when I update the video, when we're done, I will put the link to the details on that class, okay? The second thing I want to tell you is Bloom Where You're Planted is this month's all-star tutorial bundle. We did a blog hop yesterday. You might have missed it. Um, it's going up. It went up between yesterday's Facebook Live post and today's Facebook Live post. So make sure you go back and look at it. Um, you can hop along to all 12 designers and find even more inspiration. Um, even if you already have the PDF or you're not going to get the PDF, we have new, a different a second project on each of our blog posts. So, so in total, that would be like 24 projects using this amazing bundle. So, um, anyhow, 
you can get this for free if you spend uh, $50 with me before the end of the month. All right? All right. Okay, that's all I'm going to talk about today. Um, I do want to mention that there is no, let me pull it out up here. There is, well, there's my calendar, I mean, my catalog. I was looking for it yesterday. It's up in this cabinet, weirdly enough. Um, there is no Facebook Live tomorrow, okay? Don't be looking for me tomorrow. There's no Facebook Live tomorrow. Um, my mom and I are going Christmas shopping in the 90 degree weather. <laughs> it's supposed to be summer like tomorrow. I'm not happy about it. But um, so I will resume. We'll do day eight on Monday, okay? And then hopefully I will be live every single day next week. And then I'm taking two weeks off. All right. So today's the last one for the week. Um, la I do want to mention last chance list. The last chance list is getting crazy. Um, things are selling out. Things are unorderable. We're all confused. We don't know if that means it's coming. They've got more coming in. If not, so I don't know. If it's not on the website, I would assume that it's not coming back if it's from the holiday catalog. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know. There's a lot on the list. Like I said, when I sat down to type up my blog post about noon today, I saw that this stamp set that we're using today has sold out. And typically stamp sets um, are guaranteed. I don't know what happened this year. They're not doing that, I guess. So, but we're gonna go with it. All right, so prizes uh, yesterday. Um, I chose one winner from yesterday. It's Jessica Jengenbach, Gengenbach, Gen, I don't know, Jengenbach. Jessica, I have your mailing address already because you filled out the form. I will get this in the mail for you tomorrow. Thank you so much for playing along. Today, I'm giving away the classic cloche bundle with the cloche dies. Um, all you have to do is go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, and... Scroll down towards the bottom. There's a link where you go fill out the um, little survey. I'm not going to send you anything unless you win. So don't feel nervous about putting your mailing address in it. For some reason, I see that like 350 people start the survey, but only 250 complete it. I don't know what that's about. You guys, I'm not going to send you anything. I delete it as soon as I pick a winner. So if you're worried about giving me your mailing address, I mean, just know that the only reason I would look at it is if you won, so I could send you a prize. I don't know. All right, hopefully the blog post has gone up. Um, let's see, oh, is Jessica here? Good. All right, let's see if I'm missing anything. All right, all right, so we're gonna get started. Um, remember, if you want three of these projects um, for free, I don't know. I haven't picked which three I'm sending. It'll be three from this week or Monday. I haven't decided yet, but you'll get three free projects if you spend at least $35 or more with me by Monday at midnight. There's a host code. You'll see it when I flip the camera. There's also a host code on my blog post today, and I'll update up at the very top um, of this or at the bottom on YouTube with that host code. If you do want to put an order in, please use that host code. If you don't use the host code, I assume you don't want the make and takes, okay? Because some people don't want them, that's fine. Um, but if your order happens to be over $150, don't use that host code because then you get stamp and rewards. You get free stuff and I'd rather you have the free stuff. Um, and I will still send you the free make and takes, okay? All right, well, let me flip you guys around. Uh, this is what the make and takes look like, by the way. Here's this last week's. All right, they come. You need the stamps and dies, obviously. I don't do any stamping. You'll need stamps and dies or something s similar that you could substitute. Um, I will I will cut out circles and shapes and things like that for you. But like today, the Wiseman, if I were to send one of these projects, you would need these, right? I don't know if I will send one of these since it's sold out. You know, I don't know. I don't know. It. I'm assuming that if it says unorderable or um, discontinued on our discontinued list, that, that it's gone. We're not going to get it again. But then in my heart, I'm like, well, maybe that's a mistake. <laughs> maybe they're going to bring it back because they make stamps in-house. I don't know. 
but maybe that's just wishful thinking. Okay, let's get started. There are a lot of things going on with both of these cards. Um, I don't really think anything's terribly difficult, but as I was typing the supply list, I mean, look, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that I used. Um, we're going to make the background first so we can give it some time to dry. We're going to make that starry sky in the back with blending brushes. All right. Do you guys have blending brushes? Um, Valentine treats, Christine. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> I have barely even looked at the new catalog. I have barely looked at it. Um, whatever the Valentine bundle is is what I'll be using. I, I, don't, I, don't, I can't even picture it. I don't even know what it is right now. I've just been focusing on Christmas, getting through Christmas. I will work on that class the last week of December, and you guys will get it. You'll see it the first week of January. Okay, so let's make this background. Um, how do I want to do this? I have cut my piece of basic white a little bit bigger than I need. So I am going to just stick it down right here on my grid paper. The reason I made it a little bit bigger um, is because sometimes um, if you use tape, you need to cut off an edge or maybe one side. I don't know. I just like to make it a little bit bigger. That way I have a little bit of a breathing room, a little wiggle room, if you will. I'm going to start with, and I don't really need to worry about down here because if you see, really from about two thirds of the way down up, is what we're gonna see. And the funny thing is, is today when I was pulling the inks, I could not remember exactly what inks I used. So I am going to just guess. I believe that I used first polished pink for that kind of that light color in the middle. All right, so take your blending brush. I always try to start on the grid paper. I can see I got a little bit of a dark spot there but I think that'll be okay because we'll cover it up with our, our little village in the background. All right, now we will do gorgeous grape. Okay, I have a blending brush for about, well, about each color. So one for pinks, one for reds, one for blues, one for purples, and my arm is tired. <laughs> Um, they come in three to a pack <sighs> and, uh, you can wash them. I've been told I have not washed mine, but you can wash them. Um, somebody suggested a microfiber cloth, which I think is a pretty good idea. They're, they look like they're foam, but they are tiny little narrow bristles. All right, so we've got gorgeous grape. I'm gonna leave that because we might need that again. And now I don't know if I used Blackberry Bliss or Night of Navy, so we're gonna do a little bit of both. Did I even pull out? I don't think I pulled out my, my blue. So let's see. Blackberry Bliss is very dark. So we've gotta kind of go easy. All right. I think it was navy. I can see that. And I am kind of doing like an arc. So, oh, look at that. See, can I blend that? So that it kind of looks like a sunset. And the more you play with it, the more intense the color is going to get. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, my arm's sore. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to do a little bit of navy because it does definitely have navy in it. Let me grab my blue my blue right here and navy is really dark so be real careful Peggy says she rinses hers out at each time wow Peggy really maybe that's probably a good idea I don't do that and the other day you guys saw me I grabbed one that had an old ink color in it so that's probably a good idea all right so night of navy, we're going to create that night sky with that kind of that sunset. All 
All right, now I'm gonna go back just one more time. Ooh, that looks, <laughs> it looks like a mess. I just looked at my iPad. That looks like a mess. But it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, my arm can't do anymore. So we're gonna, we're gonna stop there. Oh yes, that's very pretty. Now, to make the stars, there's, we're gonna do stars on the next one too, but for this one, I'm gonna take my water painter and a little bit of white craft. I'm gonna get it kind of wet and just flick. You can do some big, some little, and some of them will be white, and then you can see there's even water drops on there, which I really liked too, because it makes your stars look different. On here, you can see like that was a water drop, that was a water drop, but then you can see the white too. All right, let me do a little bit more. Oh, there, that's a good one. There we go. Okay, now let me get a paper towel because I don't wanna leave that sitting there. Now we're gonna let that dry. I should have a sink right here where I could just go wash my hands. Maybe in my new house, I will plan that. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so let's set that aside, give that some time to dry. And while we do that, we're going to color our wise men. And I really struggled with what color to color them. Um, I actually colored them multiple times and I didn't like them. And then I, I started looking around online and I realized the ones that I liked didn't have a whole lot of multiple colors. They were more like shades of one color. So that's what I'm going to do. And I want you guys to notice something. <sighs> do you notice anything? I put the wrong sticker on that stamp. And then it was too late. and I couldn't get it off. So now I have two stickers on that stamp. I know there's a way to take it off. I think I've done it in the past, but I just was in a hurry. I've never done that before. Put the sticker on the wrong stamp. Have you guys done that? Ugh. That's what happens when you're moving too fast. Okay, we're gonna start with Cherry Cobbler for this guy. And I'm just gonna do light all the way down his beautiful coat. And guess what? No fussy cutting today. We have matching dies. And we're gonna do some really interesting paper piecing or, you know, a form of punch art in the next, the next card. It's not, they're not punch shapes, they're die shapes. So maybe we'll call it die art. So I went over it with light, cherry cobbler. And now I'm just gonna color in the scallops with dark cherry cobbler. Darn it, I didn't get my glasses again. Okay, down like that, down like that, and down. Okay, so then we've got that. Now, I'm gonna use a color that surprisingly looked really good with that, cinnamon cider. I have been using the heck out of cinnamon cider. I love this color. Love it. I'm gonna be really sad when it's gone. All right, so light and then dark. I'm gonna put some dark here where they all fold and kind of under here to give it a little bit of, uh, it looks like a little shadows, okay? All right, I'm gonna come back and do all their faces at the same time. All right, for this guy, we're gonna use So Saffron. This one's like the easy one to color. And I'm using So Saffron Dark. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, then Light Pumpkin Pie. I just, I had made notes. I colored them and then I wrote down the colors that I liked. 
next to each one. So then today I knew what colors to, to pull out on these. I actually found it after I had guessed and I had guessed right. All right, so pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie. And then for just an accent, we're gonna use light Cajun craze right there. Okay. All right, now for this guy over here, we're gonna do Highland Heather. Highland Heather Light. Um, let me look at what I did. Okay, so yeah, we can just color it all like this. And then we'll go over with the darker colors. So today is my oldest daughter's birthday. She's turning 19 and she has finals starting tomorrow. They actually don't have class today at all. It's like a study day. And so I got online and researched, like, what could I send her for her birthday? I found a place that will bring you a baby goat to play with for 30 minutes. And that's what she got. She called me right before we went live. Um, and she was freaking out. Her friends, they were all out in front of the dorm with this tiny little pygmy goat. And she was laughing hysterically. So I felt like, okay, I did, I did good. You know, it's her first birthday away from home, so I wanted to make sure that she, you know, wasn't sad. Not that my daughter gets sad very often, but she was excited. I hope she sends me lots of pictures. I'll have to share with you guys. All right, so I'm doing this little turban in light, um, light Highland Heather also. You know, I don't know if there's other places. I bet there are other places that have. It's a place in Waco that has goat yoga. And they also do this like baby goat rental. I mean, I, I don't, that's not what they call it. But in my mind, that's what I call it. And she, she, he uh, came with little pajamas and a diaper. So I didn't have to worry about that. <laughs> I mean, how funny. My, If you guys don't know, my daughter, when she was in high school, she did 4-H or um, ag, and she had a goat for four years. Well, actually three years, we only did it three years. And so she has a soft spot for goats. So I thought that would be fun. He was, she, it was a girl. She was a little bit bigger than I thought she was gonna be. I thought she was gonna be teeny tiny. She was still tiny. Okay, so now we've gotten all that. Let's go back with So Saffron and color in the things that they're carrying, as well as their crowns. Frankincense, gold, and myrrh, right? That's what they're carrying, the three wise men. And then get your wink of Stella and make those sparkly, okay? Just a little will do. And then we need to color their faces, and I'm gonna use Petal pink, oop, this is the dark petal pink. I would have rather had the light, but oh well. Do their arms and their face. And then this guy looks like I need to, he's got a little bit of that, that whatever that is right there. I'm gonna leave his little beard white because he's an old guy. He looks like an old guy. All right, so there you have it. All right, not too hard to color if you, Stick to just like light and dark shades of the same color because then, you know, you can um, you can really kind of just color broadly and then go back and color um, some of the highlights with the dark colors. Okay, why do I have gray? Oh, I did his beard in gray. Well, whatever. We're going to leave it white. Whatever. All right, let me move all these markers. Now, there's a supply list at the bottom of today's blog post um, that will give you all of those colors if you miss them. Okay. So the other thing that I found with these dyes is that they leave a little bit of a white outline. Do you guys see that? And I, the first time I cut them out, I cut them out kind of off. 
You know how you do that sometimes where the dye's off a little bit? So then the white was sticking out on the front side and I just, oh, I didn't like it. So I tried to go around with black so it would blend in and that looked horrible. So I did it again and made sure my dye was centered and I was much happier with it. So take your time and get your dyes in the right place. Look at the top, the bottom, the sides, and you can even take a little bit of your tear and I mean, not your tear and tape. Don't use tear and tape. <laughs> that would be a terrible idea. Um, your post-it tape or a post-it note. And, oh, I think I slid that. Okay, I think that's okay. Snowing again today, Heidi, oh my gosh. Snowing again, and today it's like 80 here. It's supposed to be close to 90 tomorrow, and I'm disgusted with it. Disgusted, which is what I'm sure you guys up north feel like about the snow. We can never have what we want. All right, so here are three wise men. They're so beautiful. Now, I have done some things ahead of time. Let me get those pieces. I used this die right here. Remind me what these dies are called. Uh, I put it on the supply list and I swore I was gonna remember. Let me look. These right here, Inspiring Canopy. I used this one right here and I took a four and a fourth by five and a half inch piece and I just cut it in half like that. And then I cut a little bit off of that one so that it wouldn't be too tall. And we're gonna put them on like that, okay? Um, basic black, so it looks like a silhouette. I also cut two of the little village villages before we do any of that, though, we've got to emboss. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Look. Oh, it's so beautiful. We're going to emboss that star. And, oh yeah, put them over here. That star and the saying. And you know what? Why didn't I use wise men still seek him? I like that sentiment better. I guess because this one sits better like it fits in the space better they're both good glory to god on the high in the highest is good too all right so now i'm going to use my old embossing buddy because i want to make sure that i get this right because i don't want to do all that again <laughs> my arm couldn't handle it oh melissa you have your first snow and you're excited about it well good all right let's see is this going to stamp straight well, I can't see it. Okay, I think it does stamp straight. Sometimes I put my stickers on crooked. All right, glory to God in the highest. Yes. And then the star. We'll put that right there. And then we will get... Ooh, and I got to cut this page down too. I didn't do that. Should have done that first. We just got to cut a quarter inch off of it. It'll be fine. All right, so now... Take a look, make sure you've got your embossing powder in all the right places. And I can see that it's right here and I don't want it right there. So get a, like a paintbrush and now we'll heat it. Boy, that's so pretty. <laughs> my, drop, my dots were much bigger this time, but I like them. All right, so hit it with a heat tool until until you see it turn sparkly and shiny, and then we're ready to put it all together. There we go. There are some fun ideas, um, both in the catalog and of course online with this, this set. There's some really pretty ideas. If you don't want to color, you can, um, whoa, that almost fell. You can stamp it and emboss it like in gold and just leave it you know like on i uh vanilla or white all right so four by five and a fourth is what we want all right now 
basic black card base. I know some of you don't like basic black card bases, but for this, I really felt like we needed it. All right, look how that just pops off. That's so beautiful. Now we're gonna put this back one. We're gonna put this one here, and then we're gonna put this one about right, let's see, how far down do I wanna go? Just a little bit higher than the bottom, depending on how you cut yours. Okay, like that. And then we'll get one of our little villages and I'm gonna very, very, very carefully not get glue all over everything, I hope. Just, oh, come on. What? I just used you. <sighs> okay, hold on. Maybe it's been a while since I used it. I'm gonna unclog it just with a pin. Thanks, Robin. Okay, where did I, where was I? Right here. Just a little, oh, goodness. How difficult are you going to be? Oh, jeez. One more try and then I'll get some other group. Oh, maybe, maybe. Ah, nope. That's gonna require some work later on. Some surgery. Some glue surgery. Let's try another one. I have two more over here. This one doesn't look quite as old. So let's see. Well, maybe it does. <laughs> it's clogged up too. Are you kidding me? Come on. 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 There we go. Now we've got a lot of glue right there. Okay. Just, just a little tiny bit of glue. Like that. And I'm gonna glue that right on the edge. Like that. Okay. And then dimensionals for the other one. Part four. Right there. And we'll get the other little village. And I just don't even want to squeeze the glue, just very little like that. And that's gonna go right there, okay? And then we'll put our three wise men with dimensionals. Like that. And then we'll put um, a piece of basic white on the inside. All right, so I'm gonna do the yellow guy like that. And this guy's gonna be like that. And then this guy's gonna be like that. All right, isn't that beautiful? All right, but because it's a black card base, let's stamp the inside. There's this stamp that we're gonna use here in a minute on the next card also, which is the little frankincense and myrrh. And it's crooked the way I put it on the, so I have to, I have to practice to see, let's see. Mm, that's too much. Okay, I think I got it, let's see. Mm. Ah, it's crooked. Oh well. Now, I'm gonna use, oh, I forgot, my Stampin' Blends are over here. Oh, this is what I needed gray for. I'm gonna use cinnamon cider for one of them, like copper. And I think I grabbed the dark, but that's okay. Okay, and then Smoky Slate for this one. And saffron for the gold. Then I like to put a line, kind of like this, like a shadow line, so it doesn't look like they're just floating in space. 
All right. And then, if I cannot mess up those things there, we will put it on the inside. I loved this card and I really didn't wanna just cancel our great tidings. Mm. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys like it. Thank you. Now we've got another one and see that big giant blob of glue? That's gonna be a problem if I don't cover it up. So let's just glue a piece of white cardstock to it and put our glue on it. Now, the next card, I wanted to do something different than I didn't want to use the wise men. Let's see. I think I need that. Um, I didn't want to use the wise men again. I wanted to kind of go in a different direction. So I decided to make a manger. I'm going to show you how I made the manger. And then we're going to, that stamp we just did on the inside, we're going to do, we're going to emboss it on three different foils, foil cardstock, and then piece it together. All right. But first let's make the background. I told you we would do a different background this time. I have done a lot of this ahead of time because I knew that these cards had a lot going on and I needed to do some of it ahead of time. All right, grid paper. This time I'm gonna take my wink of Stella. Thank you guys, they're so sweet. Yeah, I love these. All right, now I'm gonna take my wink of Stella. I squirted it a little bit out on a block and I'm just gonna tap it to give us a little bit more starry sky. So you can flick it on your lid like that, and then you can go like that, get bigger blobs until you are satisfied. Okay, set it aside, let it dry. And where did my paper towel go? Let me clean that off so it doesn't dry. Okay, so let's do the other embossing part. I need to clean that stamp though. Let me grab my chamois. Now we're gonna stamp it three different times. And we're gonna emboss it once in, let's see, gold, copper, and silver. These two are from the brushed metallic cardstock packs, car, or paper pack. And then this one is obviously the silver. Now that pen is sticking to me, the silver foil. Okay, so one, two, three. All right, now let's see, I need a scrap piece of paper, so we'll bring this back out. I don't, these are, I just bought these. I haven't put them in a container yet. I wanted to have some fresh powder. Let's see how it looks. All right, that one's pretty good. And then you can take your paper and just tap it back in there. And then we'll do, oh, I set that on top of that. I hope that didn't mess it up. Here's our gold. Our metallic embossing powders. Oh, I didn't do a very good job. Our metallic embossing powders come in a three pack. These are the three colors that you get. All right, and I'm just gonna brush that off into the floor. <laughs> I will sweep it up later. Or Pepper will be walking around in gold and silver sparkles. There we go. Okay, now I think I'm done with that. So we'll bring the heat tool back. You know, I can see, we're gonna cut these out, but it still bugs me when we have little, little things around. I don't like it. All right. Gotta watch your hands on these smaller pieces because it does get hot. All right, we're gonna see it turn silver shiny in just a minute, there we go. Okay. And then we'll do the copper one. Like that. 
and then the gold one. Okay, now let's bring it over here and get the coordinating die. Which one did I do first? I wanna make sure that they're cooled off enough. All right, we're gonna cut this one out. Okay, ah, the paper is warped. Let's do the gold one. Because what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna cut off two from those and glue them onto here so that it looks like there's three different metals, okay? And actually, you know, I think I will cut these out so they'll be exactly the same when I glue them down. We'll just snip them apart. Okay. Hi, Rita. Yes, time does fly. I agree. Okay, this paper needs to flatten out. There we go. Now, decide which one you want to be your base. And I think I'll just do the gold. And I'm going to grab my... <laughs> This whole time I haven't had scissors. Really? Really? This whole time. Oh, jeez. Okay. So I think I'm going to cut this one, this little side canister right here out. And I'm going to follow the edge because it's sitting behind that other one, okay? And then I'm going to glue that right there like that. And then I'm going to I'm going to leave that one gold. For some reason I like that one to be gold. Is that what I want to do? Mm, yeah, I'm going to do bronze for that front one. So then just follow the line. Get your glasses because you're going to need them. I am having trouble seeing it. Go around. And snip it off. All right. Let's see. Is this my glue that works? Yes. All right, so then do a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. Set that down, whoops. Set that down right there. And then set this one down right there. Like that. And now you have one whole piece that looks like it's three different metals. Can you guys see that? All right, so there, we're gonna let that dry. And look, you could even, you know, piece it together and make another one. Now, what else do we have? Let's make the stable. Let me show you how I made the stable. Did I, I know I cut out two of those, didn't I? Didn't I, where did it go? Well, darn it, I did not unless it's still sitting over here. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, so these are from the flower box window dies, this set. And I'm using the shelf for the legs of the, the manger and I'm using one of the shutters for the, the middle part. So what you need to do is find your scissors, snip off, the, the thing I like about these dies is that they also emboss, so they have that wood grain in it. Snip off those little edges. All right, and then we're gonna put glue like that. And I'm gonna put one like that. And one like that, let me get them a little bit wider, like that. All right, I'm gonna hold them down for just a second. <sighs> okay, so now that's what it looks like, which isn't quite right. So just take your scissors and cut that at an angle and that at an angle 
And there you have a little um, manger. Isn't that cute? It's a little manger. So now we're gonna put that on a vellum circle. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart because it's not dry yet. Uh, do I have mini dimensionals over here somewhere? Somewhere, maybe I do not. Okay, how do I not have them? We'll just do one leg. I think that'll suffice. All right, I'm gonna put that up here like this. Then I stamped, I did this ahead of time. I stamped this grass piece. I did it twice in Garden Green on Garden Green cardstock and twice on Old Olive, in Old Olive, Olive Ink on Old Olive cardstock. Then I used this die right here, which we have three of. I don't know why there's three of those, um, to cut out one in each color. I am gonna have to get my many dimensionals. Oh, are these them? No. How do I lose? Oh, you know what? I did take them over here. I did, it's my fault. All right. So now, we're just gonna put these on. We'll put this one back here. And then we'll put this one in front. Like that. And then we'll do the opposite on the other side. Okay, we'll do that one in the back. And we'll do the old olive one right there in the front. And then a couple of many dimensionals on these little babies. Like that. Put one right there, one right there, and then let's get our frankincense, our gold frankincense and myrrh, and put that, oh, they are not dry. <laughs> they are slip sliding around. All right, like that, and we'll put that right there at the bottom of the manger. Isn't that sweet? So sweet. Okay, so now let's bring back our night sky. You guys see the sparkle? I have a very vanilla card base, and I think I'm gonna do this part first. I also, ahead of time, cut and embossed a two inch strip of crumb cake with a timber embossing folder. So I'm gonna put that there. Then I have three mountains from our, did I put these on with dimensionals? I did. Three mountains cut with the majestic mountain dies and this these long extra strips are perfect for these mountains all right thanks guys you're so sweet i love this card too all right i'm gonna do that no let's start in the back first let's do that and then you can flip them around so they won't be exactly the same or you can kind of shift them down We'll do this one down like this, all right? And then we'll snip it off. And will it fit? We could do that. No, I cut a third one. Let's just use the third one. And one more mountain range like that. All right, snip them off. Snip, snip, and we will put our manger scene, or yeah, manger, manger scene right here in the middle, like that. And then we'll stamp our sentiment. Now I have two strips of paper over here because I just have a feeling I'm gonna mess this up. Maybe not, where did I put my knife? Maybe. You know what I'm gonna do? Well, it doesn't matter. We're using this, this um, pick a banner punch and I sometimes screw these up. So let me punch first. Yeah, I did screw that up. I think my paper's too wide. Let me see, how wide is my, oh yeah, hello, it's way too wide. 
happened to my little trimmer? My little one. I don't know what happened to it. Okay, let's try that again. This needs to be about three-fourths of an inch wide. And then, look, then it's perfect. It makes that little kind of pointy end like that. You just got to start with the right size. Good tidings of great joy. Let's try it again. It's not straight enough. Good tidings of great joy. All right. And then I'm going to just snip that. Bring this back over. Dimensionals on the back. And we're going to slide that behind right, mm, right there. Mm, there. I don't know. There. Okay. Now we're ready to put it on our card base. And then we're done. I hope you guys, if you like this stamp set, I hope that you already got it. <sighs> the, the dies are still available for $14, which is dirt cheap. 50% off. Rarely do Stampin' Up! things go 50% off. All right. And there you have it. I love this card. All right. You guys, we did it. We got them done. They, those were kind of complicated today. But hopefully you learned something new, even though you may not be able to get the stamp set. Because it just sold out today. Maybe you learned something that you could do. Different techniques. Let's see, where's the other one? All right, that is it for me. I will be back on Monday. Um, remember, if you'd like to um, put an order in between Monday, between now and Monday at midnight, um, I will send you three make and takes for free. I think this will be one of them. Well, I don't know if you can't get the stamp set. Uh, I don't know. You'll have three great make and takes for free, I promise. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, everybody who shopped the free sh uh, shipping sale yesterday, thank you so much. I do really appreciate it. Um, I'm glad you guys took advantage of it. I took advantage of it too and ordered a whole bunch of adhesive. I hope I will have adhesive kits for you guys in the new year. Um, and I think that is it. You guys be safe. Have a great weekend. I'll be back Monday at two o'clock with some snowflake projects. All right. Thanks everybody. Bye.